And now I am going to read Please you guys. Please ask me about it. Oh boy. A listener sent me this article <laughs> that I found to be, I was laughing. It's, it's three years old, mind you. Wow. But it is still as old, this, will, this is timeless. I laughed, and then I almost started crying while reading the same article. The article is called, it is from November 23rd, 2010, Amherst, Massachusetts. Antonio's manager, too trusting when he agreed to sell pizza to Bob Dylan concert crew. The manager of Antonio's Pizza on North Pleasant Street said the business was, quote, too trusting when it agreed to fill an order for 178 extra-large gourmet pizzas placed by a man they thought was a member of Bob Dylan's concert crew. 178 pizzas. <laughs> so, basically, Sean, I'm not going to say the guy's name, this poor guy, uh, the staff at the pizzeria wanted to prepare pizza for Bob Dylan and his concert crew after a man wearing backstage Bob Dylan concert credentials <laughs> around his neck came in early Saturday and asked if they could help feed the crew. Dylan had performed at the Mullins Center on the University of Massachusetts campus Friday night. Um, so they made a hundred, he ordered 178 extra large pizzas. In person. <laughs> they, they, and the guy never came back. They're just like, where is he? Didn't he, he the guy should come back for all these pizzas. A hundred seven, like, how, Bob Dylan's, like, what's this guy think? Bob Dylan has 600 people working on the crew. <laughs> How many pizzas? Well, let's see. Uh, okay, the g guitar tech uh, uh, guy sets the drums up. Uh, got the guy who drives the tour bus. Uh, Bob's going to want some pizza also. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to need 178 extra large pizzas. <laughs> and so they made all these pizzas. And the guy said the line was so, it was like he wanted... <laughs> it was, it, this is the line that, that it just killed me where he said that they wanted but they wanted we would have liked to sh we would have liked to show off the pizza and serve somebody famous the guy said oh. that's, that's when I st almost started to cry yeah, when it's just like but then again I all I thought about it, it's like wait a minute there's a pizzeria the odds are, I'm not going to blame this guy. I didn't say his name on the air. The odds are, this guy's a creep. Pizzeria guys, so many of these guys are the worst humans on earth that run pizzerias. Right? I don't know. They are. Okay. Trust me. Okay. I they worked for one, I know. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's just like, this pizzeria, right? This, may, this guy, maybe he got what he's coming. Guy, but just the idea. Guy comes in with the crew. Hey, hey, you got Bob Dylan laminates. You're gonna make 178 yeah. pizzas. I'm not gonna give you a. I'm not gonna put a dollar down uh, as a thing. It's like the most heartbreaking thing ever, right? It's like a Mike Lee movie. <laughs> it's exactly like a Mike it Lee is. movie. Yeah. It's, it's, someone... it's waiting for Guffman, yeah. but waiting yeah. for Dylan. And I, I, for some reason, the number 178 That's... made me laugh. I was laughing <laughs> for number. ten it's, minutes. It is a the funny idea. Number. Good comedy number. Last <laughs> and, syllables. It's and, terrific. And also. Extra large pieces. Yeah, th I've never heard of that size. Like the idea. Like it's a t shirt or something. There's, look, this is not Donovan we're talking about here. <laughs> it's Bob Dylan. You can pack them in. He can pack, These he pizzas can... are going to have to be extra large. Yeah, maybe you get Cat Stevens in here. You make a large pizza. You make 178 large pizzas. What does the scammer get out of that? Just <laughs> yeah. that I, I caused havoc? But I think yeah, he's, like, um, he's like havoc. the Joker. He's like the Joker. He drives yeah. on chaos. Yeah, that he's was. created chaos in Gotham City. And that's, he, that's actually right? what the Joker would be like in real life. Yeah. He'd go around ordering, <laughs> pretending to be running Bob Dylan's stage crew for a show. Yeah. And then. That's like people who believe that the devil exists in like tiny things when you swear or when mm -hmm. you like. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's the devil. It's like, isn't yeah. he busy? No. Yeah. For, on that? Really? Yeah, it's a low stakes proposition, but. Are you still on the line? I am. <laughs> <laughs> the Wichita oh, lineman. Tom. Well, John from Maplewood, Wichita lineman. John, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, my God.
Best show, you're on the air. Isn't that the best thing ever, though, when you hey. just hear that? Hey, what? Is this me? It is you. Okay, sorry. Hey, it's uh, Justin from Oregon. How's it going, everybody? Oh, Justin from Oregon. What's mm. up, buddy? Where in Oregon? I'm in Southern Oregon in Medford. Southern Oregon. What's that like? Southern Oregon. Exciting place. Mm-hmm. What can well, I do for you? It's, uh, I've kind of been thinking about what you were going to be doing moving on from... Um, the show? The best show. And uh, going back to your, your musical career, uh, I think it's time for a follow-up song to uh, Come On Y'all, It's Time to Have Fun. Like a party song. Like You think I should write party anthems? I think it. you had the party anthem. I think mm-hmm. that was your mm-hmm. all-star. Mm-hmm. I think now it's time for your Walking on the Sun, which was brilliant because it had the line, Don't delay, act now. Supplies are running out, which has just been used unironically for like every car commercial for, for years afterward. So you need to have the next like sales pitch line in your song. Best show, you're on the air. Hi, Tom. This is Elliot Glasgow. How are you? Who? Elliot Glasgow. I want to hear your last name. I have name. a riddle for you. Oh, boy. No, you don't. Best show. You're on the air. R- yeah, oh. I need to order 257 extra large pizzas for Billy Joel. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let me, hold on. Let me grab a pen. Now, who is this for? Uh, it's for Billy Joel's crew. At for the, Billy uh, Joel's. Garden. Yeah. Guy goes into, into like, uh. I would actually kind of believe that, though. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that I might actually buy. And then the guy comes back with like a, a like a black Amex card. <laughs> like, yeah, it says William Joel. Oh, oh man! Charge charge sixty four hundred dollars worth of pizza on it. Centurion card. Once like, a month. I feel like he has a custom black card where it's the cover of Stormfront. <laughs> <laughs> like one, yeah, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Billy's doing a run at the theater. At Madison Square Garden, once a month, we're going to need $9,500 worth of pizza. <laughs> you need to be ready for when Billy, when Bill, when Mr. Joel wants his pizzas. Two boots. It's two boots. Billy Joel wants four 75 boots. Larry Tates. You better be four boots tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Joel wants... 17 Tony Clifton's, 47 Larry Tate's, 64 Mr. Pink's. Is that one, right? Mr. Pink? Sure. Yeah, the Mr. Pink. 36 Larry Hagman. Wait. No, that's your pizza down there, Jason from Huntsville. Larry Hagman. (laughs) What would be on a Larry Hagman? Yeah, what would be on a Larry Hagman? (laughs) Oh, uh, Texas barbecue. <laughs> Larry Hag, could you imagine eating at? No. What what chain would Larry? Ha- if, just picture Sonic, Larry Hagman. Sonic, Sonic. Just Larry Sonic, Hagman's Sonic. Sonic. So yeah. just like you just like it wouldn't be like Larry Hagman's rib hut. Oh, you mean like Kenny Rogers Roasters? Yeah, yeah like yeah. yeah. Oh. Larry Hagman's. It would have to be something Texas. Uh-huh. Yeah. Larry Hagman's brisket. Dallas Dippers, <laughs> and it's a uh, it's an ice cream oh, stand. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's Dallas Dippers. Dallas so Dippers. It's an, so Larry Hag like like Dippin' Dots. It's just stuff that you can yeah. dip. So it's chicken fingers, and then it's yeah. also oh um, yeah, that, that's even ice better. cream cones, right? Mm-hmm. And um, so like a Dairy Queen. Yeah. No, it it well yeah I guess like Dar- Larry Hagman's Dairy Queen. You know Larry Hagman owns this Dairy Queen. <laughs> like it's just a Dairy Queen. It's like. You know who owns this Dairy Queen, right? Larry Hagman. Yeah, he came here about nine months ago. Check it out. Yelled at all of us. <laughs> he's, kind of a, he's kind of a jerk.